Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode here on Dork Ninja Gaming. I am Spooky Andrew and with me as always is... Spooky Nesty. And we're here to bring you a little episode that we would like to call uh, Making Halloween Characters on DC. Hoot. Hoot. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's our favorite time of year once again which is holiday season uh, to make new characters because every year they seem to bring out more and more uh, items to get and uh, it just we find it helpful to have as many characters as possible to get them on as well as you get some pretty sweet swag so um, we just wanted to like go over like the inevitable which is that somebody's going to ask us you know what what did you how did you make your characters what what are they wearing what what is that so uh we'll just go over here a little bit of uh these two characters and sort of what the inspiration was and how we built them so do you want to just tell us a little bit about spooky mist well absolutely <laughs> if you guys are fans of Bram Stoker's Dracula in film form with Gary Oldman and Keanu Reeves, that is kind of where I drew my inspiration for Spooky Misty with my top hat and my little round glasses. The top hat and the shoulders are from the Voodoo set. The glasses are actually, are actually Dr. Savannah's glasses, Fancy. which is a I know. It's like an iconic drop that you can get. Um, I don't remember where I got them, actually. Somewhere where Dr. Savannah sends <laughs> you to do a mission. Maybe that, it's not the cold. It's not where you get cold classes, but... No. Oh, well. Maybe it's they're out there. or something. And um, as you can see, Ninja Andrew is also wearing the voodoo hat and shoulders. So we just kind of, you know, wanted some cohesion between the both of us. But then for me, you know, I like cosmic gear. So use the cosmic, you know, you're able to adjust the colors and get some cool effects. You can play around with that. I'm wearing the plaid skin, which you can buy in the store. Uh, the cool thing about the plaid skin is you can change the background color. So you see that it's, uh, I'm, I'm able to make it orange, which is cool. So if you wanted a green or red or, you know, whatever color floats your boat, plaid skin is a cool option. Um, Valentine skirt, just because I think it kind of looks like a pumpkin. And then the ruined demonic, is it ruined demonic wings? I think it's the ruined gargoyle. Ruined gargoyle. I, I always forget the gargoyle part. Yeah, so you can see there um, the ruined gargoyle wings and Ninja An Spooky Andrew, excuse me, is wearing those as well and you can get those in the marketplace. So that's just kind of a little quick look at Spooky Misty and I will let Ninja Andrew tell you uh, about his exciting adventures of putting his outfit together. <laughs> Well, the outfit that I'm wearing is just essentially um, mostly split personality with some voodoo mixed in. Uh, I was inspired mostly because when I was building the character, I was just looking for something to wear while I leveled up. Because I was originally going to do a suit that was more like my PvP, which we'll show you in a second. But this was just like, I thought, like Dark Magician, and then I was looking for like a cool outfit that would be kind of exclusive-ish, so I was like, split personality would be really cool, because then I could do orange and black at the same time. And then while I was getting that, I got like the split personality mask, which I'm also wearing, which is... It, it, I just thought it, it all looked really kind of cool, spooky magician kind of deal. And your fancy mustache. Yes, and the fancy mustache. I had a monocle initially, but, you know. I miss the monocle, but I do like the split personality mask, so. It's kind of spooky. It's a, it is. It's mm -hmm. a win-win situation there. So that gives you guys an idea of what we're running around. Uh, kind of, I guess this would be our fancier alternate costumes. And then for PvP, we decided to go a little creepier. And as you can see, um, this is actually the one time ever that I actually feel like I can run around in the astral alloy gear and it not look completely deranged on a female character. So, you know, I've got the giant... Um, 
shoulders that work well with my big evil pumpkin head. I thought the back looked really cool because of just being able to bring in those different colors. So I think I look appropriately evil with my giant scythe. Reapers, scythe, I'm coming to get you. Mm-hmm. Scythe, scythe, scythe. Yeah. Thing. Scythe. Blade. <laughs> the pumpkin reaper. And then Spooky Andrew here is wearing the Corrupted Suit, which you can get... Oh, well, the, the Astral Alloy set you get from fighting sub-avatars in South Gotham. The Corrupted set that uh, Spooky Andrew is wearing. You can see there it's got the giant gaping maw in the middle of his stomach. Um, you can get the Corrupted Gear off of the Raven Bounty in the Gotham Wastelands. So both of these we thought looked appropriately intimidating for PvP. What weapon are you using? We, yeah, I was going to say, we definitely designed these characters to be used for PvP. The weapon I'm using here is the, the Wicked Sword, and I'll just right. show it and there a second. Like, I think it's probably one of the coolest looking one-handed styles in the game, period. But also just looks really beast with this character. Like. And the Wicked um, set you can purchase in the marketplace. That's right. So th- those came with the celestial powers. There's the... What do they call it? Do they call it the Blessed? Or do they call it... I think it's Sacred and, and Wicked. Sacred and Wicked. Yeah. So there you go. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to talk about your choice of powers, since we're kind of on the topic of celestial. Definitely. So... I did explain this already, but I went with uh, Celestial um, because I I had initially thought I was going to go for the the cursed Celestial like I did in my uh, Celestial loadout uh, video, but uh, because it has like these floating skulls, some creepy noises, I thought it would be good for Halloween. But then after playing with it for a while, it's just like I preferred the combos with the um the, the blessed side so much more as being like just sort of it has the same sound effects same creepy sound effects but it was like i just thought it'd be more original i think i thought that like more people would probably do the opposite so i was like this is really it goes really well with the orange plasmic aura and everything i was like i can make this look good so i was like Okay, well, you know, because I like to try and, you know, do something a little different. Do something that somebody else isn't going to necessarily think of right off the bat, you know. And what about you? Well, I decided to reach out and try my hand at Nature DPS. So a lot of these moves you're not really going to be able to see a whole lot because I don't have a target to go against. But I kind of thought... Cursed pumpkin patch. Like it, it looks really good. I think it's really cute, you know. And beastly. Like I can't wait to go in and, and do some more PvP with Misty on these characters and just, uh, yeah. Especially leading up to Halloween, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So, you know, Absolutely. there's and you still have time. Yeah, to build a character, get into the Halloween event, to all that. You know, get a boo. You can do it. Yes. Get a boo, get a pumpkin, get a Croatoan, anything, you know, to give yourself that kind of spooky flair. You you have time to uh, get that started so you can be creeptacular. And there's plenty of other power sets out there that would work just as well. So, like, try to come up with your best sort of spooky Halloween character. If it's like a mental, using the astral projection kind of stuff, or... You know, fire. Yeah, you could do something with that, or even like mm-hmm. one of the lantern powers. I'm sure, like especially yellow lantern has some pretty creepy looking powers. If you're making the skeletal hand, yeah, and yeah, you know, definitely. So make your creepy characters, send us screenshots, Woot. and we'll put them on our Facebook page, and we'll tweet them out to DC too, or yeah. We'll have, or you tweet them out to DC and tweet them out to us while you're tweeting them to DC, and we'll put likes on them and stuff. And we'll retweet them. Mm. All right, guys. So get to work on your Halloween character so you too can run around the DC Universe and be spooktacular. Let us know about it. Uh, Give us a thumbs up down there if you like what you see. And join us next time. Uh, (laughs) 
as we shake our sexy ghost butts all over the DC universe. And Hi. if you'd like to find out more about sexy ghost butts, we will put a link somewhere either in the description or comments. So have fun, guys. Woot! And a happy Halloween. Woot! <laughs>